It doesn't matter what religion you are. It doesn't matter what race you are. It doesn't matter who you love. Though it doesn't matter if it's red states or blue states, hope and change, come on up, let's hold hands. We'll put the swords down and turn them into plowshares. It's very, very alluring. It's very, very hypnotic, but not for me, not for my family. Because whenever I hear that leftist rhetoric, and it's very hypnotic, very alluring, it, it calls you. But that's the rhetoric that killed millions and millions of my people and killed, personal fa uh, killed family members of mine. So I dedicated my life to trying to understand what is, what is this message? How does it come so dressed up in, in, in something so apparently beautiful? And yet, we know that Barack Obama was the expert at this message, because you listen to his speeches and how hypnotic they were. But it leads to what's inside this book. And this book actually scares me more when I reread it today than the exorc exorcist did when I was 11 years old, sneakily watching it on my TV when my family went to sleep. How can it be that a message that's so apparently beautiful, utop the, the earthly utopia, leads to hell every time? And this is something I've dedicated my life to trying to understand. When I was a little kid, this very intelligent man in my life, I was telling him something as a kid. I was saying, oh, but this guy was very bad, but I didn't know. I was a little bit confused. And he said, Jamie, evil doesn't always come with horns and a pitchfork and rah. It comes like an angel of light. And it's the truth, but it's just a little bit blurred. And that's how evil happens so often. So when we, when we saw this man, Obama, first emerging, as Larry was also um, referring to just those speeches, the way that he talks, you kind of, if you don't know any better, you want to become a part of it. And I've, again, this is something I dedicate myself to understanding. That, you know, when uh, Ray Liotta, what did he play? Henry Hill and Goodfellas. That one of those last scenes when he's pulling out of the driveway and the cops come and arrest him and they're screaming. And he said, I knew they were cops because cops make noise. Cops scream. If it was the wise guys, I would have already been dead. And he said, because the wise guys come in silence and they come with smiles. And it's very important for us to understand this, ladies and gentlemen, because the left is a, is a Christian, I will just say, and, and to our Jewish brothers and sisters, and we agree, a lot of us agree on good and evil, this is pure demonic evil. And everything we see happening today, from the destruction of our border to October 7th, which by the way, Obama fertilized the soil for that, which is discussed in this book by the great Daniel Greenfield on his chapters on Israel. But how, how does this happen? And um, it's very important to go back to the Garden of Eden because you see, the serpent appealed to Eve's best interests, or supposed best interests. I've studied psychopaths my whole life. I've written a book called Jihad is Psychopath, because as I studied psychopathy and I studied jihad and the left, I started to notice year after year that it's exactly the same tactics, the same way that jihad is destroying us. It's the same way that a psychopath charms his target brings them in and then snatches them. It's the same thing that Islam is doing to us. It's the same thing that Islam is doing to us. And when the serpent said to Eve, you can be God. You don't have to die. You will know everything. And he was appealing to what appeared to be her best interests. But we know that it was the, not just the destruction of Eve, but the destruction in many ways, the fall of humanity. So this is a spiritual battle, ladies and gentlemen. I wanted to begin with that theme because so much is about deception. 